Hello everyone, this is Atreya and welcome to our channel Code Chef. Today we are going to be solving the problem Chef and Operations which has the code QABC and which appeared in the Snackdown online qualifier of 2019. The difficulty level of this problem is simple and we just need to follow some observations in order to solve this problem. So as usual, let us get started with reading the problem statement. Here it's given that Chef actually has two sequences A and B and both these sequences are of length N. He can apply the following magic operation arbitrary number of times including zero. So what does he do in each magic operation? He selects an index i. He selects an index i and this i will be between 1 and n minus 2. And after selecting this index i to the chosen index he will add 1, 1 to a of i, 2 to a of i plus 1, 3 to a of i plus 2. If the array is basically of five elements, just to take an example to make this clear, and I am picking the operation to be performed on the index two, for example, the new array after I perform this magic operation will be a2 plus one, a3 plus two, a4 plus 3 and a1 and a5 will remain unchanged. So after performing the magic operation to the selected index, I will add one to the next index. I will add two to the next index. I will add three. So given two sequences A and B, we need to tell Chef, is it possible to uh, get sequence B from sequence A after performing this magic operation? So let us look at the sample cases. In the sam first sample case, the given A is actually 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5 zeros. We need to make it equal to this B. First, I am performing a magic operation at index i equal to 1. After I perform the magic operation at index i equal to 1, it means that I need to add 1 here to the value present. I need to add 2 here. I need to add 3 here. And my new a will actually be 1, 2, 3, 0, 0. Now let us, this is again not equal to my given b. So again, I'm performing another magic operation at index i equal to 3. This means that I need to add 1 here. 2 here and 3 here. This is what the magic operation is. To the selected index, I will add 1 to the value present at that index, to the next one 2, to the next one 3. So after performing the second magic operation at index i equal to 3, the, the, uh, the resultant array I get is 1, 2, 4, 2, 3, which is exactly the same as my b here, right? So this means that it is possible to obtain the array b from given array a in this case. But in the second case, I urge you to try this out. There is no way to get this array B from the given sequence of integers A. You will always find a mismatch at the last element and there is no way you can form 1, 2, 4, 2, 4 from the given array of 5 zeros. I highly suggest you try this out. Now let us look at the approach to this problem. Here before we jump into the approach, I have a question I want to ask you. Instead of this 0, which is the second element of our array A, if I change this to element 6, then is it possible to obtain array B from array A by doing these magic operations? What did I do? I just changed the second element from 0 to 6 now. Now we need to make sure that the magic operation that we keep doing here, they increase the values. Basically, they increase the values of the elements present in array A, correct? They never decrease the value. They can increase the value by 1, 2 or 3. That is that is uh, given. But they never decrease the value of the given elements. If I perform a magic operation at index i, so here I've written it. If I perform the magic operation at index i, the uh, value at index i will be incremented by 1, the value at index i plus 1 will be incremented by 2, and the value at index i plus 2 will be incremented by 3. These are all plus operations. I'm never reducing the value anywhere. So this element at the second position array is 6, while the corresponding counterpart in b is 2. This means that somehow I need to find a way to reduce this value from 6 to 2, which is impossible given the magic operation that always increases the value. So immediately right off the bat, we have got an important observation that is if a of i is greater than b of i, there is no way to obtain array b given array a. So this is what I wanted to highlight at the starting. Now let us move on to our normal approach here. What our approach will be is we will traverse the A array from left to right and at each iteration we will try to make A of i and B of i equal. So let us first go at the first elements of array A and array B. The first element of array A is 0 while the first element of array B is 1. B, these are uh, mismatching so we need to find a way to make these equal using these magic operations. So since the, they are mismatching, I perform a magic operation at index i equal to 1. Now question to you is, 
एट वॉट इंडेक्स शुड आई अप्लाई द मैजिक ऑपरेशन सच दैट इट अफेक्ट द वैल्यू प्रेजेंट एट पोजिशन वन ऑफ द एर ए दैट इज वॉट इंडेक्स शुड आई परफॉर्म माई मैजिक ऑपरेशन सच दैट द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट ऑफ एर ए ए द वैल्यू विल चेंज ऑफ दैट एलिमेंट गिव इट अ कपल ऑफ सेकेंड्स येस only if i perform a magic operation at index i equal to 1 this means that the value at you know the first element of array a will change because again let us look at this if i perform a magic operation at i equal to 1 it affects the values present in indices 1 2 and 3 of the array a this is indices affected let me just call it as indices affected now if i perform magic operation at i equal to 2 the indices that are affected are 2 comma 3 comma 4 Now, if I perform magic operation at i equal to three, the indices that are affected are three, four, five. Basically, here a plus one will be added to this, plus two will be added to the value present at this index, and plus three will be added to the value present at this index. That is, uh, we'll look at that later. But the indices that are affected, if I perform a magic operation at index i equal to one, are one, two, three. The indices that are affected, if I perform a magic operation at i equal to three, are three, four, five. So, in order to change the first element value at array a i always need to perform a magic operation at i equal to 1 this is an important observation we have and now i will perform a magic operation at i equal to 1 after i perform a magic operation at i equal to 1 my new array will be 1 2 3 0 0 0 now then my i became uh, you know uh, i equal to 1 i match the values this is one here this is also one now i will increment my i now my i became 2 now i'm comparing both the in both the arrays what is present at the second position here 2 is present here also 2 is present so uh, i mean nothing to do here both match now i again increment my i now my i will become 3 so in the array a my i value is 3 but in the array b my value is 4 there is a mismatch here that is present if there is a mismatch i know that i need to perform a magic operation now i'll perform magic operation at i equal to 3 and after i perform the magic operation i will get 1 2 4 2 3 3 here I will add plus one here. I will add plus two here. I will add plus three here. I will get this as my new array A. One, two, four, two, three, which is exactly same as my B. I can again check it by incrementing I for the indices and checking if they are equal. So in this approach, what we do is we will run a loop of I. It will start from one and it will go till n minus two. And at each iteration, we will try to make A of I. and b of i equal by performing the magic operations one important thing to note is when we are currently processing the uh, element at index i it means that we have processed all the elements to the left of that given i let's say just for the sake of discussion we are currently at this you know index i equal to 3 this if we are at index i equal to 3 and we are currently processing the element present at index i equal to 3 in array a this means that we have already processed all the indices to the left to the left of the given index and these have already been made equal to their b counterparts we are only processing the element at index i and all the indices to the left of that given index we are processing have already been taken care of and we will never touch these elements again so this is an important part to note another important part to note is that some people think that if there is a mismatch we just have to perform the magic operation once this is not the case let us look at this new example where a is 200 and b is 446 now in order to make 2 and 4 equal we know that we need to perform magic operations but how many times do we need to perform the magic operation to make 2 equal to 4 these are the first elements of both arrays and we know that i equal to 1 a magic operation needs to be done so for this i equal to 1 we need to perform two magic operations why because the difference between these two elements are two what i'm saying is b of i if i equal to 1 b of i minus a of i the difference between these two elements are two right if the difference between these two elements are two it means that i need to add 1 to 2 two times 2 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 4 if i if we look here the starting index chosen to apply the magic operation one will be added to the value present at that index here the difference between these two are two it means that i need to perform the magic operation twice at the index i equal to 1 so let me first perform the magic operation once at index i equal to 1 and let's see what we get if i perform the magic operation once at index i equal to 1 2 plus 1 becomes 3 
0 plus 2 becomes 2, 0 plus 3 becomes 3. This will be my new A. Now, again, these, this doesn't match. So again, I have to perform a magic operation at index i equal to 1, which means that now my new array A will be this plus 3 plus 1 is 4, 2 plus 2 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6. This will be my new array A. So again, to reiterate, we take the difference between B of i and A of i. And that many times we apply the magic operation to in order to make these two elements equal. And we continue doing this so on and so forth. And instead of directly simulating and applying this uh, first i equal to 1, we apply the magic operation. And again at i equal to 1, we apply another magic operation. One thing we can notice that after applying two magic operations at index i equal to 1, given the initial array a, can we directly arrive at this final array? So what I'm trying to ask is given this array, what we have here, given this array, initial array, we know that we need to apply the magic operation twice at index i equal to 1 to obtain this final array a. So can we directly know the final array a given the fact that we know we need to apply the magic operation twice at index i equal to 1? Yes. How do we know that? We know that in one magic operation, plus 1 is added to the current chosen index. Then plus 2 will be added to the next chosen index and plus 3 will be added to the next chosen index. So what if I denote a variable diff? What will this diff store? Diff will store the difference between the array elements given at index i between bi and ai. Basically the same thing. bi minus ai will be what is stored in our biff here. bi minus ai. This is my difference. Now we know that the magic operation needs to be performed difference number of times to make these equal. So what I will do is I will do a of i plus equal to 1 into diff. This means that if I perform the magic operation many number of times, diff number of times, difference number of times I have to perform my magic operation. If you're getting confused, just remember that if the first element here is 2, and the first element here is 4. I need to, the difference between these two elements is 2. Hence, I need to perform the magic operation twice. If I perform the magic operation twice at index i, I need to add 1 into diff here. I need to add 2 into diff here. And I need to add 3 into diff here. Now, after I perform the magic operation difference number of times, the, these are the final values. After I perform the magic operation, difference number of times these will be the new values of the three array elements let us just check it again here at i equal to 1 i perform the magic operation twice my initial array was 200 zero, zero. now i perform the magic operation twice and the difference was 2 so basically a of 1 plus equal to 1 into 2 so the final value of a of 1 will be 4 2 plus 2 now let us look at the code for the approach that we have just discussed. Here I'm setting a boolean variable possible which will tell us whether uh, the array or sequence B can be obtained by sequence A or not after performing our magic operations. After taking the input, the main loop what I'm doing is I'm running a loop from i is equal to 1 till i is equal to n minus 2 as discussed. And here inside this loop, the first thing I check if in any iteration is a of i greater than b of i. If a of i is greater than b of i, it means that there is no way we can perform sequence b from sequence a after doing our magic operations. If you remember, magic operation increases the value, it never decreases. So I immediately set the value of the variable to false and I break out of the loop. Otherwise, if my a of i and b of i, if there is a mismatch, if a of i not equal to b of i, I first output the difference. I first find out, sorry, find out the difference. Difference is bi minus ai. Now I know that I need to apply my magic operation difference number of times. Then I update the values of ai, ai plus 1, ai plus 2. And then it goes to the next iteration. So again to uh, reiterate, here in this loop what we are doing is we are traversing the elements from left to right and at each iteration we try to make the value at uh, index i equal to its counterpart in b by performing the magic operation difference number of times. Then after this whole loop runs, outside we are checking if the value of the variable possible is false. If it's false, it means no way we can forming uh, the array b. Otherwise, you remember the loop runs from i is 1 till i is n minus 2. We still have to check the elements at index n minus 1 and n. So we do that. If the elements at n minus 1 and the elements at index n, if there is any mismatch in either of those indices, it means that there is no way to form the sequence B. Otherwise, yes, everything is good and we can form the sequence B. So this was our code. Hope you understood.